Howdy, howdy, y'all, Sir Cowpoke, and welcome on back to Valheim Build Edition. Today we are making the Dock House for Cowtown with a stone pathway that leads all the way to it. So without further delay, let's get you right. So here's the path that's actually going to lead between uh, Cowtown all the way down to the dock which I'm gonna actually, it's gonna zigzag and come over here. So I found a pretty neat spot that I'm gonna build a little boathouse there. And this will be like the start of the like wall sections and everything like that. Cause I figured this will probably be the best entry way. There's not a really good one. That, one, that way it's like too far away. That, and this is pretty much the shortest way. And I have a cart ready to go and it's filled with um, like wood and everything stone that I need for all that. Um, so what I'm kind of wanting to do first is I want to go down. We're going to go down and build up the house first, the dock house first, and then we're going to path our way back. I mean, the paths already are already kind of did all the paths. It comes all the way over here um, and heads through. I even blew a section out there. I got to smooth this out a little bit more because I was trying to figure out what's a good that's a good path, that's a good path. And you can see this is big drop offs. So we're gonna have to figure that out. And I wanted a path that if we fill this cart completely up, then we could easily make it up and down and everything. So if it got, you know, if it gets too heavy, these carts get too heavy, they're super slow, they're hard to maneuver, you can't walk up too high. Yes, yes, yes. And so I'll show you the like, little path um, all the way down. It's kind of a neat little, little path probably pick up the speed a little bit because this section right here is really bumpy because I had to like mine it out in the the, the hoe which oh, I should have repaired let me go repair that I oh, know I'll repair this here let's get down there I'll show you all that but you can see when you pickaxe things the hoe doesn't really flatten that out too well so that's going to be a little bit of a work I'm gonna have to like get it down fill it in get it out fill it in I had to do the same thing right here uh, so I have to fill that in and tape it back down. But it's going to do that zigzag because I might even have to get that a little bit of feels because I'm going to be making this so I can easily get up and down even with a full cart. And I kind of test it once so it, it does work. So because you know if it's too steep, you can't, you can't get up and down very well. You just get stuck in all this other stuff. And so this bottom thing is like right there. See, it's not that long of a truck or anything like that that so we can easily go off or load up grab a couple cards bring them down unload them or load up the cards all back and everything and so i'm going to drop this here so this is the spot i'm talking about but i'm going to make like a little bridge that's going to come across then i'm going to i'm going to bust up that rock and i'm going to bust up this rock and it's going to sit all here um and everything else so i'm actually going to clean this up a little bit so let me clean up the terrain clean up the area and then we can take a good look at it and then we'll get to building there we have it it's all cleaned up it's cleaned out and everything else the house is actually going to be somewhat still on the water because we need to go a little bit further out so the boats don't run in for anything like that and i'm actually going to so how i'm actually going to start this is there's going to be a bridge that's actually going to connect it to um and everything so i'm actually going to start um with with that in mind i think i need to put another workbench put the workbench there grab some wood out of here because we're gonna need it and i think what i want to do is have like a little mini step up right there and then that's gonna go across we're gonna make this nicer it's gonna be a stone bridge when i'm all said and done but for now i'm just gonna have it uh, go so I can gauge how tall the house is going to be, the building's going to be, and everything. Um, the reason I also want it kind of tall over here is because this place will flood and storms, the water will get super high, the tide will get super high, and so this way will be kind of like on stilt. Um, let's see if we can get that, we need to be that high. I thought we could just start off like right, right there, maybe? I think like right there it should be good. And we can clean this up a bit if it came from the first. Let's get ourselves a little bridge, a little dinky bridge. Get all the way across real quick. And 
should I grab? I can grab the post. Let's grab those posts. Uh, there. Put this guy there on both sides. And then one, one more right there. And that's going to be the start of the house, like right there. So the door. Um, so, no, no, no. It's going to be like one more. And then the door is going to be right here. Grab this. Nope. This. Right there. And we're going to put this right there. There we go. So this is going to be the little bridge that's going to come across. And I actually want to make it a little bit wider than that. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, it, it's going to be a stone bridge, so it's going to look a lot nicer all said and done. The sun is going down, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get a, a base floor out in here so y'all can see exactly how I'm picturing it, where the house is going to sit, and everything else. It's going to be quite nice. I think it's going to be pretty nice. So let's go to bed, come out with the sunset, with the sunrise, and I'm going to knock that out. So I'll see once I get that little base section set up. There we go, we got ourselves a nice little layout. Let me show you a little bit of a round just so you can see all what I did. This is where it's gonna go, and I know this is gonna be underwater because it's gonna go rising up there. I'm gonna have to swim out there. Uh, man, that sun's bright, but swim out there to that rock, clear out all those rocks, and try to get that as low as possible. We can park the boats here, or at least the big boat. Just need just enough, big enough to think of one, but this is gonna be like the back porch. This section, and it's a little bit of a roof in right there. I decided to also put another walkway that connects over here because I thought that'd be kind of cool. Then again, this is also going to be stone, all said and done, but this allows me to get a good layout and everything else so I know exactly what I'm looking for, looking and doing. Now underneath here, you can see that I made plenty of structure underneath some support. Let me get underneath here so you can see that once I start building up the roof and everything else, the roof will have plenty of support. We're high enough to the ground so if a big storm comes in, it will roll on through. This section, I had an idea. I have, it's, it's gonna fit kind of weirdly, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And it's kind of gonna be like a little surprise what I'm gonna be putting here. I think it'll be, I think it'll turn out pretty cool. I mean, we'll, we'll see when we actually get there. I'll play around with the idea. Um, and this is actually gonna be like a front little porch section, kind of, kind of interesting and everything. Um, so the actual main section, is only gonna be from there to, to there type thing. So again, this is not supposed to be a big house. This is the boat house. This is the dock section where we come in, unload, dry off, do whatever we wanna do. And we have an access, because I'm gonna dig up a section all over there. And then I'm gonna use that little stone section as the cart fields. I'm gonna put all the carts in there, roof it off, make it all nice and pretty. Um, that's going to be another day. That's probably just something we'll do on the stream. I'll have the guys come over and help me out with that deal. But it's going to be paved all the way across, all the way up and everything like that. So we can walk out this way. We can run straight into here, go straight to the boat. It's just, it's just a middle thing. And I think it's the rest of it's going to turn out pretty cool. I'm going to try to knock out the, uh, the rest of the uh, core structure, the outline, the, the bones, and then put on a roof then start playing with the roof and see how that's going to turn out. I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. Hopefully it does. Um, I have an idea for it, so it's, I think it's going to turn out. I think it's going to turn out. I think it's going to turn out. So let me start knocking that out. And yeah, let me get that little bone structure in here.
There we go. We got ourselves a frame and a roof. This roof's actually going to be kind of cool. I, I really wanted to show you this. Over here, you're going to have that nice Viking slope. It's going to go all the way to the ground, but I still have my little surprise I'm going to put over here. You probably already know what I'm going to put over here, but why not? You might not. But I have this all built, and you can see like this section is taller than the back section, and then it'll shrink down one more time just right here for the for the covered section to the back. Uh, what should I call it? Back. That place where the boat's going to be. Ah, dang, the dock. And then this guy is going to be a little bit of a slope off from that roof to come out, and then there you go. So it's going to be this nice little exit, side exit type thing gonna be pretty cool it's gonna I think this is gonna be pretty cool it's a unique and different type of build I'm actually gonna have the roof stick out a little bit farther so we can cover this section so I don't have to worry about that whole deal but I'll worry about that when I get to it and of course we are going to tar this roof so I'm gonna actually roof it in so if it starts raining um, it's going to be protected and everything else and then we're gonna really see what the sucker looks like and it's gonna look I think it's gonna look amazing I really really do it's just, it's just, it's just super cool. I think I need to put like one there. Yeah, for support. I think I need to put one there strictly for the support. And but it's this sucker is gonna look nice. Well, the sun's setting. I'm gonna go get the tar, roof this sucker in, and yeah, the sucker's. I think it's just coming along quite nice. Super nice. Loving it. And there we go. We got ourselves a completed roof. Check this roof out. It turned out amazing you got the triple layer roof you got the little bottom section that covers the deck there the little mid section that just rides up and steps up and then you got the main grand thing that sees out to the distance and all that stuff you got your viking slope there a little mini one there this turned out amazing and i went ahead since i had the tar i decided this is going to be the front door so i'm like oh yeah definitely going to have to put that there uh, if I have enough tar, I'm going to come in and do some more decoration. I should have enough tar. I went and picked up a bunch more, so I should have. And I decided to do this. Check this out. This is really cool. So it's just like that little half dude, that dude on top of the other guy. And this just makes a really cool entryway out to the boat. It's just going to look super, super cool, super sick. It's just going to be awesome, 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 awesome. So next up, I just got to fill in the, the rest of the uh, the walls, get all that, get the windows in here, get all that figured out. We all know how to make windows, and I got to put in the door. Then I got um, the stone section to do as well. So I got to come in, do the stone uh, bridges. I blanked out what they are. Do the stone bridges on both sides, bring down the stone cutter and everything like that. And I got my surprise that I want to show you all at the end. It's going to look super cool. but. So, so yeah, I'm going to have all that done, but the other thing I'm going to have is I'm going to go ahead and pave all the way up with brick all the way up. So what you're going to see is a complete version of the docks with the paved stuff. You're not going to see me do that because it's just paving rock. And, and yeah, I think it's going to look great. So I will see y'all at the end of the build. Alrighty, y'all, we finished up everything down the boathouse. We even got our pathway and everything. But before we head down there and actually show that off, I had a comment in my last video of building the portal house that upstairs, instead of a table and whatnot, I should have the cartography table up here. And that was a great idea. Didn't think about it. And so I decided to put it in here. It fits. It makes sense. So I love that comment. Thank you very much for that. So I'm going to run all the way down. We're going to check out the new path. It actually gets a lot of mobs. <laughs> Well, we are, in, we are in the Black Forest. And we're going to head on out, and then we're going to check out the boathouse. It's it's actually turned out amazing. I hope you all like it. It's really, really cool. And this pathway actually turned out pretty good. I even loaded up with like a bunch of bricks and actually went back and forth on a lot of it. It seems to work just fine. So even with a heavy cart, this seems to work just fine. So if we do runs... If we go out and grab a bunch of iron or whatever, we can port them back easy with some uh, good old carts and everything. Easy, easy. So now you can see from a distance. Check it out, y'all. Look at that. Even got the I got my boat over there. You can see the stone bridges. Everything just looks super cool. I got that serpent head on there. Just because it's the boathouse for the sea. Of course, we're gonna have a serpent head on there. And then you can see there on the side, that was the little surprise. It is a chimney, but check this out. 
Got the path all the way there. I'm gonna have my buds help me out and like build like a little shack or something over there. We can store a couple of cards in. But look, this thing turned out super, super cool. That thing is just awesome looking. And look, I got the windows, window stuff. It's really, really cool. Open it up and then look, check this out. It turned out super nice. This turned out really, really cool. Or even put some more decorations in here if I wanted to. Um, but I decided to just go even with regular chairs instead of the other ones. Just because this is like the little boathouse. This is whatever. It's all right. But I really love these windows. Like, I really do. These things are so cool. Like, you can shut them all. Be like, aha. Even though there are little gaps up there. Because this doesn't really fit this style of a uh, thing. But, hey, it still kind of works. Kind of works. But you can open them up. I love that. I got the black floor all the way around. With a black car. Goes all the way around. It turned out really nice super nice you can come out this way come across here and grab that and you have one hell of view check that view out i still got the little boat over there but i brought over the big boat but in the oh and i even put up the little raven that over i got some wood up there oh well, i'll grab it later <laughs> i did not know that i had some wood up there but and the raven it's checking out to see it's kind of like odin's watching over us as we sail about and everything I kind of like it. I might move him somewhere else. It's a little little cramped. Didn't really think about that. But this thing comes out, walks all the way over here. The boat just sits there. I still need to get rid of these rocks, but I'm going to have the guys help me with that. And But all in all, I think this turned out, this whole build turned out super great. I hope you all think so too. All right, y'all. That's going to end today's ride. I hope you all enjoyed the dock house. I think it turned out perfectly it sits on its little island just great i really enjoyed it if y'all did enjoy that and want to see more builds and more valheim rides please don't forget to shoot that like button down below and leave a comment to let me know subscribe to join the posse and click that bell as well so you don't miss out any more rides just like this one again i appreciate y'all so so much and i'll see y'all on the next ride